Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss how to change your controller voltage settings with the GLE dashboard or with the included egg writer. The GLE dashboard is a whole lot simpler, no reboot is required, and it's fairly quick. But before I get into it, I just want to give you an update on the app. Right now we've added several new features and it should be released within four to five weeks, slowly over time to ensure that we have enough customer support on hand to answer all of your questions. With that said, let's begin. To change the voltage on your controller, simply open the GLE dashboard app. It automatically connects to the controller as you can see. Simply long press the battery icon. That will take you to the battery settings. Scroll down to where you see the battery voltage. You have a wide variety of battery voltages that you can choose from. Well, more than three, if you're going into a 60 volt stock battery, whether it's a high capacity battery or high drain battery, just choose 16S. If you were choosing a 72 volt battery, you would choose a 20S. So in this particular case, we're gonna choose a stock 60 volt battery, 16S, and hit save. That is it. Go back to the dashboard with the arrow, and as you can see, you have 62% can see that the uh, low voltage would be 48 and then the fully charged voltage is 67. Another unique feature of our battery voltage system, changing it to the incorrect setting will automatically let you know that uh, something is not correct. So let's say for example you chose a 13S by accident and you hit save. When you go to the dashboard you're going to get a notification as you can see, it says 134%. Obviously, that's incorrect. So clearly, the battery that you've connected to the controller is not a 13 NAS battery when it's fully charged. So let's go back and change that. You can change it from the top menu, or you can long press, as I've shown you here, long press. Let's go back to 16S save, wait for the message to disappear, and then go back. And that is it. You do not have to reboot your battery, your bike or your controller. You're pretty much ready to go. Now let's see the process for doing the same. It's a little bit more cumbersome with the uh, egg writer, but it does the same thing. Okay, so for the egg writer, what you want to do is make sure you have the latest uh, updated egg writer app you can open the app and you're going to connect to your egg writer once you've connected to the egg writer you're going to go back and you're going to slide right and you're going to hit update now typically you're going to enter a code in this section already the code is in the description you hit paste and you should be able to see this firmware version 2.6.34. I have already updated this egg writer, but I'll go through the process to demonstrate. So once you enter the code, you'll see this version. You're going to tap it and you're going to hit yes. And then the egg writer will start updating. It takes about two minutes. And so it's updated, version 2.634. So the uh, firmware did update. So we're going to connect, and then you're going to set your battery voltages under display settings. I'm going to scroll down. At the bottom, you have three options for three different batteries. After you read the egg writer settings, then you save, and then you choose your voltages. In this case, I've chosen a 60 volt for my first battery, a 72 volt for my second battery, and a 30 and a 48 volt for my third battery. For 0% voltage on the 60, I set that to 48. And I set 67.2 to 67, just to calibrate the percentages that you see a little bit better. And then I hit right. And as you can see, it's saving on the egg writer. And then I power off, and then I have to power it on. And then obviously I have to reconnect. 
to ensure that the settings took. So it's a little bit more cumbersome than the uh, Jirly dashboard. Another thing to note is that, um, now I'm reading again to make sure that the settings took hold, is that uh, when you're swapping between the batteries, you really don't know what battery you're on. You have to kind of memorize that. On the first battery, you have the um, 60 volt, and at the second battery, you have the uh, 72, and in my case, the third battery, you have the 48. Uh, nevertheless, it's still decent. So now let's say you want to switch your battery. Let's say you want to go from a 60 volt to a 72. You hit the M button in the center of the egg writer. And it brings you to this screen. And then you hold the up arrow, long press it, and then it'll allow you to swap between the batteries you've set up. Battery two is 72 volts. Battery three is the 48 volt. And battery one, in my case, again, it's the 60 volt. And then of course, uh, you have to power this off. Power back on, quite annoying. And that's how you swap with the egg writer. Another thing to note um, is that you, if your controller came programmed with a 60 volt battery, and you changed it with the egg writer to a 72. Uh, if your egg writer is disconnected, the controller will revert back to 60. Unfortunately, the egg writer has to be on and connected to the bike in order for the battery swapping to occur correctly. Whereas with the GLE dashboard app, it doesn't matter. Um, any settings that you save with the GLE dashboard are actually permanent. Even if you lost your phone out in the woods and you turned off your bike and turned it back on, the battery voltage settings that you saved are permanent until you change them yourself with the app. That's not the case with the G, uh, with the egg rider. If you break your egg rider in the woods or something happens, it becomes disconnected and you've got a 72 volt battery, for example, and your controller was programmed for a 60 volt, and the egg rider uh, stops working, your bike is gonna give you a fault and the controller is gonna give you a fault. Uh, it's going to revert back to 60 because the egg rider is not functioning. So that's why we prefer the GLE dashboard. It's uh, a permanent save versus uh, or what we might call a patch save, which is what the egg rider is doing. Nevertheless, they're both great to use. Just know that your egg writer has to be on and connected every time. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, again, this should be rolling out pretty soon. Apologize for the long wait. Development time is, um, it takes a long time to develop a product of this nature. So bear with us. Thank you for your patience and have a great day.